Hey everyone, welcome back to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be giving you an ECG rhythm and a scenario. On the bottom of the screen you'll see a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. This time closely resembles the average amount of time you'll want to be spending on each card during an actual National Registry exam. When the time is up, I'll be giving you an answer as well as a treatment. Good luck. 3, 2, 1. This is definitely not a good scenario to have. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rhythm and see if we can identify it. Now normally the first thing I do when I'm identifying a rhythm is to calculate a rate. I'll do this based on counting the R waves. Unfortunately there are no R waves present here. What I am seeing though are P waves with absolutely no ventricular activity. Because of this my diagnosis of rhythm is going to be ventricular standstill. Let's go ahead and now take a look at the scenario. So we're working as the local standby medic for a marathon when we get a call over the radio for a runner who's collapsed. When we arrive, we notice that bystanders are performing CPR on an approximately 35-year-old male who they say suddenly fell to the ground and was found immediately unresponsive. We can't feel a carotid pulse and we see the rhythm above. Now as the vast majority of our points in static cardiology are derived from correct treatment of a patient's rhythm we must first decide what protocol or algorithm we're going to follow. Because this patient is pulseless, we'll immediately begin the PEA algorithm. So because of this, my diagnosis for static cardiology is going to be a ventricular standstill, but PEA. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the treatment. Just like with all my other static cardiology cards, I'll begin treatment by regurgitating the mantra Scene Safe BSI IVO2 Monitor. Because this is a PEA arrest algorithm, I'll then go ahead and perform cycles of CPR with 30 compressions in two breaths, and the only medication I'll be delivering consistently is going to be epinephrine. This will be one milligram of the one to 10,000 concentration, and this is given IV push every three to five minutes. I'll then consider my H's and T's and this may or may not then allow me to administer additional medications, depending on what I'm thinking. I'll then consider placing an advanced airway, and of course I'll end this card by saying rapid transport. And that's it. If you like this card, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more static cardiology. And remember, you can make your own custom playlists using my other static cardiology cards to help you study with for your national registry exams. Until I see you next, have a good rest of your night.